Z, okay? Can he talk to us? I'm uh, right now scared and uh, can't talk properly. And what should we do over here? They are all gonna kill us. We don't want that. The phone calls to Kabul. The anguish, uncertainty of what comes next. Inside, I'm, I feel like I'm broken into many, many pieces. My body is here. My soul is in Afghanistan. And so is the rest of Nahida's family, uncles, aunties, in-laws. Most of them work for the Afghan government or Western forces. This is a picture of Taliban they have taken secretly, my, my brother-in-law. We've blurred these images not to reveal the family home. So this is them in the house. Um, this is the Taliban. They want a female member of our family. They just want to know where they are. Uh, are they asking for the women? Yeah. Yeah, we're, they were just sitting there. Is there was a, is 40 of them. Is that a rifle? Um, yeah, yeah. Nahida says all the women in the family have been moved to a safe house. See, this is the problem they have because they are in hidden place. They don't have much signal, so we, we, have, to ring, we have to ring so many times. She's not feeling well. She can't go to the doctor's. Yeah, she's saying that she's really ill. She can't go to the doctors or anything. They are eligible for under the uh, resettlement scheme, but we've had nothing. What do you think is going to happen to your family? They will get killed. They will get killed. 100% they will get killed. If I leave them and, and if something happens to them, I'll never be able to forgive myself. From Manchester to Kabul. It's extremely difficult, if not impossible. Is that gunfire behind you? Uh, that's right. Yeah. Um, it's not so bad now, actually. At night, this is Sher Shah, a British citizen hiding in Kabul with young children and elderly parents. My father's in his 80s, my, my mother's elderly and Ill, Ill and frail, like you send you pictures. They, they, they cannot survive without me. A family isolated with decisions to make. Well, going to the airport with young children is um, extremely difficult, if not impossible. The, the four gates to Kabul airport are mobbed by thousands of people. And I, I, I really wonder how many of them are genuine and how many are opportunists. You know, documents are being faked all over the place, um, you know, the cost of uh, a few pounds. And I wouldn't be surprised if some people manage to get on flights uh, uh, to the UK with fake documents. This is Fustro. But there are lucky ones. I'm in Manchester. I guess. Officially flown out of Kabul, now in quarantine. The kids are sleeping in another room. This is the amazing view of this green city. Koshro's thankful safe and alive with his family. Kabul is collapsed uh, on hands of the Taliban. It was shocking for us. What have you left behind? My home, my friends, my ambitions, my future, my country. It's everything. We work for nothing, I think. 